Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. The three functions of allocation, redistribution and stabilization operate through the expenditure and receipts of the government. The government provides certain goods and services which cannot be provided by the market mechanism as the wages and prices do not fall below a level and thus the employment cannot be brought back to the earlier level automatically. The gross fiscal deficit is a key variable in judging the financial health of the public sector and the stability of the economy. The fiscal policy strategy statement sets the priorities of the government in the fiscal area, examining current policies and justifying any deviation in important fiscal measures. When the government incurs a revenue deficit, it implies that the government is using up the savings of the other sectors of the economy to finance a part of its consumption expenditure. The increase in government spending directly affects total spending, whereas taxes enter the multiplier process through their impact on disposable income as to influence the household consumption. The budget gives a statement of the receipts and expenditure of the government as divided into the revenue budget and capital budget to distinguish between current financial needs and investment in the country's capital stock. Proportional taxes reduce the autonomous expenditure multiplier because taxes reduce the marginal propensity to consume out of income. The public debt is burdensome if it reduces future growth in output. The enactment of the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2003 FRBMA in August 2003 marked a turning point in fiscal reforms binding the government through an institutional framework to pursue a prudent fiscal policy. The GST is the biggest tax reform in the country since independence and was rolled out on the midnight of 30th June or 1st July 2017 during a special midnight session of the Parliament.